Alright lads, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tom Harlock and I do not have an intro, but I do hear love songs on the radio and sing along thinking of myself. But not everybody's so comfortable walking through life holding their own hand. Introducing marriage. From dusk till dawn, thousands of couples tie the knot across the globe. And today, I've been invited to a very special ceremony. And it looks like you're my plus one. <laughs> Hope you're gonna brush your hair before we leave. Meet Will and Jess from Ontario. She's insecure. He is an eyebrow piercing. And their love story has been forever immortalized via a Canadian reality show. I am a little bit with because I love her and I want to keep her happy. Airing for two seasons from May 2012 until January of the following year, My Teenage Wedding follows the charming stories of loved up kids as they navigate the final weeks before their big day. If all of this sounds a little familiar, it's because we've been here before. In years gone by, I've made two videos on my teenage wedding that were swiftly struck down for copyright, leaving my channel in imminent danger. And whilst my head tells me this is dainted fruit, my heart says, go on Tom, the only time you're comfortable is when you can induce your own heartbreak. So for today's video, I thought it would be a lovely idea to edge the termination of my online presence by gobbling up another slice of teenage pie. <laughs> Should probably workshop that one. <laughs> when people tell us that they think that we're too young to get married, they can kiss our butts. Alright, that is the best offer I've had all week, but only if you put a Tic Tac in it. I want fresh breath. Who the f do you think you are? <laughs> Tell me that I'm too young. What if they're too old? And what if your brain is too lacking in cells? How about that? I was 16 and he was 17. I was, I was 18. You were 17 when we first met. You were just 20. Mm. So be quiet and right. finish. Can you let the poor lad speak? You've already turned him to religion. Why do people wear crucifixes? I like Whitney, but I ain't got a bath around my neck. Well, I do sometimes carry a little packet of crack. <laughs> I was walking down the street to go to work. And I was like, dang, this is the girl of my dreams. So you're telling me this relationship started with cat calling. Who wants to suck my dick? In the midst of planning our wedding, we found out we were pregnant. I think I'm gonna need a bigger one. Oh, you're a triple threat. Young, stupid, and pregnant. <laughs> it's cool. Our genes cool. produced. It's a medical marvel. She cried. Definitely. You cry too, so... I didn't cry. I got maybe a tear of joy, one or two. All right, well, you're gonna get three and four when this ends in disaster. I currently don't work right now because I'm in college. I currently work with my father, machining parts. Sounds like unemployment to me. We're going to the next hole now. I'm pregnant. I can't do it. You're pregnant, not crippled. Oh, God, here comes the Munchausens. If I don't get something that, like needs to be done my way, then I will freak out. Because you're a pregnant nightmare who can't do anything else other than complain. We get it, love. We spend a lot of money on pointless things. Daisy. Our dog, Daisy. Oh, of course you have a rat on a stick. What are the point of those tiny little dogs? Can't you just learn to love yourself? You can just tell that dog hasn't had grass underneath its feet in years. I don't know if they're the greatest couple together right now because sometimes Jess doesn't know when to pick her words. All right, well, that is a nice way of saying she's an absolute nightmare. They don't know how good they have it living here rent free. Oh Don, you get getting walked over mate with your big broad shoulders and beady eyes. I feel I should do the chores but sometimes I'm just in the moment and it has to wait. Have you ever considered spending time on that facial there? Because your chin strap makes me feel sick. The garbage is still at the bottom of the stairs. Game's over, get your ass upstairs and take that garbage over. Um excuse me, that's not garbage, that's Jess and I love her. <laughs> Just let me out of the house today to hang with my boy Brad. We haven't hung out just me and Will since they've been together, actually. Hmm. But I do secretly want Will and Brad to end up together. <laughs> he just watched the party with Will all the time. That's Brad's problem, which is not happening. Maybe he just has more fun with his friends than he does with you, you big ball and chain. Brad is just used to, like, the single Will getting smashed where they can't even talk or walk. <laughs> I've been numbing it out too, mate. Don't worry. Why do you feel so bad about me getting married like we used to have some good times i just don't want don't want it to like stop all right enough of this small talk who's getting sucked off on the foosball table you're gonna have a wife there all the time you're gonna have a kid well he might abandon them so fingers crossed it's just gonna be 
can't accept it, bro. Don't be my friend. Yeah, don't be his friend. Be his lover. <laughs> I'm not gonna not be your friend. Well, then accept the fact that it's happening and that it's gonna be the same. Oh, you big loser. There's nothing more embarrassing than your mate going through the honeymoon period, talking about how they're never gonna date again. They found the love of their life. All right, well, tell me in six months how it's going. The only thing I love more is my video games. Jesus Christ. That's all right, Tom, look on the bright side. This might be frustrating, but it's good for your neuroplasticity. <laughs> Nothing quite says I love you like getting into massive debt. And with the average wedding costing 25 grand, little budgets can be quickly chewed up. To combat this, Will and Jess are hosting a traditional Canadian fundraiser named a stag and doe. Move this flag. I don't want it there. I don't want it there, she said. Uh, what did the Portugal flag ever do to you? Did it run out of lemon and herb? I wouldn't blame you, love. I'd be fuming too. How to stick and go is definitely another excuse for me and Will to spend time with each other. And rinse your mates for everything you can get. We have good food, we have an open bar, and we make money off of it. I think the biggest shock is these two have managed to find a room full of friends. I need some of chili. What the fuck am I looking at? That looks like puke in a pan. Oh, that food looks revolting. We're hoping to make around $2,000 so we can get the last minute touch-ups for the wedding that we need. Are any Canadians watching that can vouch for this? Do you just get your mates over and ask for their money? I might get pregnant and married myself. Well, I probably might need another person. Well, I could have fun trying. <laughs> it's okay. Take our money eventually. Okay, good. We already have. God, that man looks as miserable as I feel. Sorry, I shouldn't compare. It's not a competition. Actually, yeah, it is. And I'm winning. <laughs> With mere weeks to go until the big day, Jess's focus has shifted to the bridal party. And more specifically, exactly how much of a slag they look. I told my bridesmaids to go and find their own bridesmaid dresses. Here come the gals. Wow, what an oppressive array of unflattering garments. I'm definitely the queen bee because when I say something, all those girls do it. This must be the most insecure group of girls this lass could find. How can you let yourself be talked down to by this bin? Everybody needs to turn around. You all look horrendous, but I'm sure she'll be happy. Taylor. Taylor is my maid of honor. You're right, Taylor. You look nice. You look like a hoe. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. And they kind of look like that Jesus loving band on YouTube. You know, the sisters that sing Germaline. What are they called? Not Germaline. <laughs> Lemoncello. You know the ones. The Christian lasses. Alicia, you look like an old lady sort of. They look like they'd knock on your door and give you a leaflet about God. The back is really cute. Yeah, look at it. Can you wear it the other way around like backwards? No, she can't. It's actually really good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it looks disgusting, but you're allowed to be wrong. Hail Queen Jessica, hail me, hail me. All right, well, I don't think that's quite how it's pronounced, but I'm not being the one to correct you. Okay, down on your knees, all of you, and say sorry. <laughs> well, these hand positions are making me nervous, but I've got blonde hair, I've got blue eyes, I'll be all right. <laughs> it's a new dawn, it's a new day, and Jess is having a go at someone else. Honestly, love, are you ever happy? Where's my veil? I'm just over there in the box with your please and thank yous, you rude bastard. You wanna see it? Yeah. I made her veil, so I hope she's excited. Are you ready? Yes. No. <laughs> the ugly watch. What a rude little bin. I'll be dragging her out by the scruff of her neck. Has she got a plastic veil? That's very nouveau. Oh, it's in a packaging. Never mind. <laughs> I don't like it. You don't like it like this? No. And I don't like you, you little tramp. Sorry, I was aggressive. I told you that I wanted a long. I'm a queen, not a princess. All right, well, your skanky little tattoo does say different, love. She doesn't like the veil. I wanted to be part of that special touch. Just add another piece that goes down in the back. My mom has seven hours in the morning to fix my veil. Yeah, and you've got the audacity. Can't you do it yourself, Dart? Sorry, I forgot. You're three days pregnant. Couldn't possibly move a muscle. You're happy laying on your back, though, aren't you, love? <laughs> the wedding's not till tomorrow at four. So at 12 o'clock, go to the store, cut a piece, walk out the store. How are we gonna go to the store? That's because you're weird. asking too much. I want it the way I want it, and that's final. All right, and the way you want it is shit, and that's final. You're gonna make me cry. 
Good. Whilst Jess makes her mum pine for a Coagger and Dime machine, Will is busy gaming, but best mate Brad has a better idea. What are you doing? Playing some zombies. Hell yeah. Let's go to the bar. Jess doesn't like me going to the bar. Well, she's not gonna know, so she'll be mad tomorrow. It might be fine. Oh, I don't know, mate. That lass is an omnipotent nightmare. She'll find out. I'm extremely annoyed because I know for a fact that Will is definitely playing his video game, and that's the reason why he's not entering his phone. Oh, uh, I think he's actually making eye contact with a lady across the bar. How does that make you feel, Jess? Do you want to write a diary entry about it? Post on Blogspot? That's how I think women process emotion. Calling him one more time. If he doesn't answer, Jesus. then I'm not going tomorrow. All right, well, don't threaten him with a good time. Uh-oh. Should I answer it? Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Oh, I hope she's climbing the walls. If you don't answer my call in the next 10 minutes, I'm not going to be at the end of the aisle, and you can have fun with your f***ing self. Thanks. <gasps> Bye. The way I'd be putting my phone on silent and into the nearest pint. Leave me alone, you messy slag. I looked on Facebook and Brad's Facebook status says they decided to have a little party. So me and Taylor are going to crash it. Oh God, I'm shaking in my white boots. If there's f***ing girls here, I'm going to knock them all out. Here we go. Release the hounds. Are you serious? I've never seen Jessica this mad before. Give me that phone. Why the f*** do you even have his phone? I mean, I'll probably sabotage your wedding too, darling. You're an absolute freak. It's the big day and probably a big mistake. But this was filmed a decade ago, so there's not much we can do about it. Man, chug this, you'll definitely feel better after. I know it's nice to have a drink and that, but the day before your wedding, you could have pulled out a puzzle. We had so much fun yesterday after the night of partying we had. Chug, 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 chug. Mate, you're gonna need fentanyl to get through this wedding day, I tell you that. Time to visit the spa to see how Jess's makeup's getting on. God, I hope she looks nice for her own sake, but that little part inside of me does want her to be minging. I feel like I should be like, on like a beauty pageant. The only pageant you're winning, love, is Little Miss Box. Die. You need a clarifying shampoo and an intense course of therapy. It ain't got anything to do with her hair. You just look like you need it. Ooh. Can you collect the veils, Clarice? Hi, honey. Do you like it? Okay, don't cry, don't cry. You're gonna make me cry. Don't look at me. Don't look at me until you're done. I mean, it does look bad, but there's no need to sob, darling, unless you're seeking attention. I'll be doing the same thing. You best believe if someone I love's getting married, I'm having the worst day of my life. Sorry, I couldn't be there for the old doves. I was busy getting sectioned. <laughs> so I've done the best I can. All by hand, baby. Are those a pair of apple bottom jeans in the wild? I thought that was an elusive myth. I'm gonna put your dress on backwards. Do you wanna see if it looks better? You wanna get punched in the face? Oh. All right, we have got a necklace wrapped around your head like a nasal gastric tube gone wrong. But other than that, and if I take away the fact my eyes are clouded by hate, you do look beautiful. Really excited to see my handsome down the aisle. I am a bit excited to see the venue. There's something about a beautifully decorated wedding hall that really gets me going. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Those flowers are horrible. But I'm gonna cry. I, William, take you, Jessica, to share the rest of my life with you. I will dedicate my life making you the happiest woman in the world. God, did he write that with his teeth? My love will grow stronger by each moment. I love you. All right, can you learn to speak, mate? I was having an emotional moment there. It is this my is delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, kids. You look really super hot today. And you look very sexy, my queen. Sexy and clean. All right, well, two of those things are alive. <laughs> I hope they do good with each other. They're still young. How would they know about true love when I'm still not married and I know what true love is. All right, Avisham, will you keep your spinster opinions to yourself and let the kids crack on, will you? Hopefully they'll get their stuff together and move out of my basement. Me too, Don. Me too. Do you reckon these two are still together? I need to do some investigative work. They're single. Aww. Well, wow. all's well that ends well. And on that trashy note, that's all the time I've got for today's video. But if you did enjoy it and you feel so inclined, you can leave me a like. Let me know your thoughts and feelings down below in the comment box. And if you want more videos from me, you can always click subscribe. Go on, boys. You can use two fingers if you like. Cheers for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>